Let's take a look at this question together. It says a transformer has 100 turns in the primary coil and 20 turns in the secondary coil and they tell us that a voltage of 240 volts is applied across the primary coil. Now they're asking what voltage is produced across the secondary coil. Well let's have a look at the information that we have been given. Now I'm going to draw and use this little sketch of a transformer and you can do the same while you get used to doing these kinds of calculations. I find a sketch like this just helps me organize the information that I have been given. Uh, also note that uh, by tradition we put the primary coil on the left hand side and the secondary coil on the right hand side. Now as you get more experienced with these calculations you may find it unnecessary to draw such a diagram to help you. Right, let's go back to the question and fill in the information that we've been given. Firstly, there are 100 turns in the primary coil. So NP is equal to 100, and there are 20 turns in the secondary coil, so NS is equal to 20. And they've also told us that a voltage of 240 volts is applied across the primary coil, so uh, VP is equal to 240 volts and we need to find the value of Vs or the voltage across the secondary coil. Well we know that we have this very special equation, the transformer equation, so let's plug the values that we have into the equation so that we can solve for Vs. We know the number of turns in the secondary coil and the number of turns in the primary coil. We also know the voltage across the primary coil. So if we plug our values in, we get that 20 divided by 100 is equal to the voltage across the secondary coil divided by 240 volts. We can simplify 20 divided by 100 to 1 divided by 5. We can rearrange the equation and multiply both sides of the equation by 240 volts. And that will give us that the voltage across the secondary coil is equal to 1 fifth multiplied by 240 volts. So simply solving for that tells us that the voltage across the secondary coil is equal to 48 volts and we are done.